Yo, what is up guys, it's Fully Spare Tate and welcome back to another video. I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas before we get into this video. As you uploading this, it will probably be on the 25th. So uh, I hope you guys are having a great Christmas and have got all you have wanted. But uh, let's continue straight into the video anyway. So today I'm going to be making a little dome. Uh, this actually took me quite a while. It's building a spear out of a sphere even, not a spear, uh, out of glass. It's completely, uh, I found it completely a challenge. Uh, obviously building out of glass is a lot harder than building it out of any other material because it just gets so they all connect and from when you're looking at, at a perspective it looks really weird um in this build you'll see me go from 1.4 to 1.5 just so i can add bees to it because it's going to be bees as you will see from the title um so i'm going to be doing that it will look a lot different in the uh, 1.5 because i have no optifier no shaders nothing i've literally just gone for the raw one i'm kind of waiting for optifier things to come out before i head over there because i just prefer the game a lot more with shaders and optifier uh, big fan of those so I uh, can't wait for those to come about. Anyway, so this fit actually took quite a while to do. There was a guide in the, uh, I'll probably leave it in the description of how to make a sphere. This guide was actually a really good help for me building a sphere for the first time. It was uh, just to kind of read through and uh, take notes and how to build it. And it actually eventually came out looking really good. It actually did take me quite a long time to do this. Uh, surprisingly, it probably took me more time to build the sphere than it did the actual build itself. So for those of you who don't know, I'm literally building this sphere out of glass and we're going to surround it or surround it with wood uh, leaves and then we're going to fill the inside with honey bees. So it's like a little honey or bee storage area where your bees can freely roam. So like um, a place to keep your bees safe. Um, I can't think what they actually call those actual words for them where you have like giant um, indoor, so like zoos but for more smaller insects. Um, can't think of the word. I want to say say the word, but I don't think it is. So I'm just going to not say it, just in case it makes it look completely stupid. Although I've probably just done that in the past five seconds. Anyway, so we head on with the outside of the build now that we've actually finally finished the sphere. Took me a long time, I know. So anyway, the sphere is going up and then we build the wood around it just to make it look like it's being held by a tree coming from the ground. Uh, so I've actually just started to go around the sides and just fill up the space with a bit of wood around the bottoms and just slowly expand upwards onto the sphere itself just to look like it's being held in place. Uh, as I didn't want the ball just to be kind of sitting in midair, I wanted it to be like held and kind of covered by this tree just to make it look like if you built this in a survival world you could really hide it away and it would just be there and if you come across it you'd think that's a really cool design. Uh, definitely somewhere you could uh, allow bees to, bees to breed in here. Uh, you could uh, could use it as a bee, bee breeder in the future and then uh, transform your bee breeder into a bee farm and have the farm next to it and just transport them from here to the farm. That would be a really cool idea. But as you can see here, right now it's looking like a bit of a mess. Obviously we're just placing a lot of random blocks around and trying to get a nice little starting design going with this build. Uh, obviously I've placed so many blocks around just randomly that I'd go around and kind of fill them in and just get a bit more... Uh, layer to the actual build and placing more wood around and try and just give it some depth you know we want to give the tree itself some level so it goes up and down don't want to keep everything flat and basic otherwise it looks boring and then obviously i've gone around so far and just placed a few leaves i haven't quite finished with the leaves but then i went around the edges with some bone mill really just adding in some more detail and then finishing it off with a bunch of roses because i feel like they are the best looking flower and then obviously I went around with leaves on the ground just to give a bit more detail, like some, you know, you got leaves falling off it and kind of things. And obviously we're going to build a path up to the front, so it's like a little sanctuary. And that's probably the word I was actually looking for earlier was a bee sanctuary. So obviously you can come up to the front here and just have a look in, or you can actually go in and breed your bees, uh, transporting them to your bee farm, for example. Or you could just purely keep this just to make a crap ton of bees. And eventually you make so many, you probably end up crashing out your your world, which would be quite funny. Uh, I doubt that will happen, but that, that that would always be a fun possibility. Uh, I don't know if they could actually crash out your world now that I think of it. Uh, something I might have to look into, because that would be quite funny. Um, anyway, I continue building the path with cobblestone, spruce and normal wood. And then I put a door so you can go inside here. Uh, inside, I just start filling in the, or the bottom of the sphere underneath. So you can't see the grass and it's all just wood down there. Then we expand the tree itself up onto the top of the roof, uh, just giving it a bit more uh, grip to the sphere, making it look like it's being really held in place and it's not going anywhere. It's not just going to roll off down the street in about five minutes and you're going to find it ten minutes later. Um, so anyway, we got 
that all sorted and I decided just to play with the clay blocks, concrete blocks even, and just add some yellows in there. And as you can see here, uh, we've got a bunch of yellow clay blocks in different colours. We've got two different types, uh, one's a bit darker than the other. And then obviously I've gone around in 1.15 we're in now, placed a honey uh, comb block and just a few beehives in around here. And placed a bunch of flowers in the middle so they can all breed and things. Obviously you can see here they get stuck in the window, I think that's because there's flowers outside. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. Although most of the time they do work normally and just fly around these flowers and head back in. Uh, and yeah, it's a really cool little build. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And peace.